Hello everyone, Boulevard here with a quick two, three minute update. I just want to talk about a cool tech option that I've been playing in Jinnar that I haven't seen anyone else talking about. I'm not sure that it's origi an original idea by any stretch of the imagination, but I haven't seen anyone else using it. And so I, I just want to put you all on. Desert Naturalist. I mentioned yesterday in Tournament Tactician that if I was going to play in the Runeterra Open, I would be interested in playing Fizz, Siren Song, Karma Set, and Jin Broadmain. And with Karma Set being in my lineup, that means that I am interested in leaving up a Reaver's Road deck. On top of the fact that it seems like a lot of people that are looking to go for multiple Siren Song decks are starting to lean more towards multiple Reaver's Road decks as well, as opposed to going like Fizz and then the Evelyn variant. So there's a possibility that you're going to be running into more than one Reaver's Road deck in a given lineup, in which case you might even want to go up to two Desert Naturalists. It is a little bit of a weird call right now. I haven't experimented with it too, too much, but in the couple of games that I've played with it, it has felt good even when I'm not playing against Reaver's Row because of Drop the Bomb. You can kill your own Scrappy Bomb, get a 5-5, and all of that, but definitely I want to say that when you're playing against Reaver's Row with this list, Reaver's Row is the bigger problem card than Siren Song is because of Fearsome. Your early game is full of Solari, Sunhawk, Junk Construct, Conchologist trying to be your blockers, and obviously when your opponent drops a Reaver's Row and, it, you know, fully resolves, they get the Fearsome, that's a huge issue for you, and so I wanted some kind of landmark removal and desert naturalist obviously is the best choice just because bandal city is horrible landmark removal and you're with Jin, but you do have this built-in synergy with drop the bomb so i just wanted to make people aware of this i've been thoroughly enjoying it it's been working out great nobody is really expecting it and we are still running a closed deck list format for the open so give it a shot in your testing today and tomorrow let me know how it feels and yeah you know maybe this is something that can push you over the edge on that matchup and help you uh play a deck that you're comfortable on into an open tournament that where maybe you weren't uh, in love with its matchup charts previously but that is all i had for you today i just wanted to put you all on Thank you so much for watching, and good luck in the Rintero Open.